Hey, hey, you guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I am gonna walk you through trimming our upstairs living area. We have been in this house for, geez, like over five years, a little over five years, and our living area upstairs is still not trimmed. We're still doing a bunch of DIY projects, but that's okay because everything's progress around here. We're doing it ourselves, we're getting it done the way we wanna do it, and we're saving money doing it ourselves. So I took a trip today to the hardware store to get all different kinds of trim for this project to get everything done. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stain this wood with the Minwax Special Walnut and then I'm also gonna mix it with the English Chestnut. So typically what I do when I stain is I have a glove, but I'm out of gloves. So I'm just gonna take this plastic bag and wrap it around my arm just to protect my hand a little bit so it doesn't get super stained while I'm going ahead and staining this wood. So really all I'm doing is using an old cut up t-shirt that I folded up and then I'm dipping it in the stain. I first start with the special walnut and then I go ahead and go over it with the English chestnut. So I don't like my trim to be too red and that English chestnut can make it a little bit too red. So that's why I start with the special walnut first to put that base down and then I go over it and darken it up with the English chestnut. I also want to make note that the trim I'm using is a pine trim and each different type of trim that I have so I have some quarter round pieces some um, like flooring trim pieces and stuff like that each one is going to stain a little bit different and I do not like my trim in my house to be all one color. I like that texture and that variety and it makes it look rustic. And that's what we go for in our house is we like a really rustic ranch farmhouse feel. So I don't really care if everything's perfect and everything matches perfectly because I like that variation in the color because it brings character and different um, variation to the wood and to the look of the house. I also want to say don't mind my mess guys. I've said it before, I live here and I work here. We don't have a garage that's heated. It is currently like 25 degrees out today. It's going to be zero tomorrow. Um, I don't have a good workspace to do this kind of stuff other than in our basement. And our basement is kind of just our catch-all. It's our workshop, it's our storage, it's our everything. Um, so don't mind the mess in the background. It's real life. Um, I take pride in it being a real house that, like I said, we really live in and we really work in. All right, so I finally get the trim boards all stained and here's what I'm left with. These are the pieces for the baseboard that I'm gonna use. That is the piece for the corner of the pillar of the brick in the kitchen. And then these are gonna go along the base of the island as like a shoe. And these ones are gonna be quarter round between the cabinets and the brick. And this one is gonna go on the outer edge of the kitchen to cover up some of the old wallpaper. It never fails that when I do these DIY projects at home, I have to clean in the midst of doing them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get everything moved out of the way. I'm gonna start in this corner with the patio door. We are finally to the measuring part. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure my sections for the doors now you can cut your trim however you want what i'm doing is i am measuring to the bottom of the board that's going across the door that's what i'm going to use for my measurement all of the trim in our house is like it's not 45 so it's like blunt edge um, it just makes it look a little bit more rustic and i like that like i said i don't like everything to be perfect i like there to be variation so it looks rustic and it's rustic farmhouse but anyway i'm just going ahead and getting my measurements for both sides of the door and then i can go ahead and make cuts downstairs and you guys listen i'm not a professional at this i just have a will so i make a way to get it done because i want my house trimmed because i want that satisfaction of getting this job done and doing it So I got my first piece cut. EJ is gonna go ahead and help me get these upright pieces and then the piece that goes across the door put up because they're just a little bit harder to do. Don't mind him in his pajamas because he has been feeling under the weather all week and he is just being kind enough to go ahead and help me do this even though he is not feeling well. 
And one of the fun things about these pieces of trim is that they just come from a big box store, which means that they can be warped. And sometimes we need extra hands to go ahead and hold them to be straight so I can get them in line the way they need to. So four hands is better than two in this case. Yes, I know that my stain does not match the original stain, but that's the beauty in this because I can go back over it and make it match or I can leave it the way it is and make it look more rustic and farmhouse. So another indication that points to me not being a professional at this, just a DIYer, is that I take entirely too long to stare at this tape measure and determine what measurement I'm going to be at to make sure that my cut's going to be correct. Look at, you don't even want to know how I Okay, so a little tip that I have is that after I make my cuts, I go ahead and restain my edges so everything flows together nicely and I keep the cloth from when I previously stained. back to more cleaning and moving stuff as I get further along in this project. So I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum just that corner of the floor and I'll vacuum behind this china cabinet and I'll sweep as well just to get all the debris up. Um, it was awfully dirty back here so I got my steam mop out to go ahead and steam it and then I pre-sprayed it with some Mrs. Meyers cleaner. I love that cleaner. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get this nice and clean before I go ahead and lay the trim down because I don't wanna put the nice clean new trim on any old grime. By this time I'd be lying if I said I wasn't tired and the cats are tired of me moving them around and invading their space, but I gotta keep going because I wanna make sure that I get this done because it's been a long process to even get to this point. Our house used to be completely wallpaper, shag carpet, like 1970s, completely all the way around. I mean, there was dark, dark, dark wood, orange countertops, all the things that encompass 1970, and we've taken all of it out and redone it to get it to its state that it's in. So I really want to get this trim up. And the last few shots here are the end result. I absolutely love how it turned out. It makes everything look so finished. And that is it for this video. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that bell for post notifications. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And until then, I will see you next time.